Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials, but today is Friday Sews, where I share a little bit about what I'm sewing and a little bit about life. So let's get started. Last Saturday, I got to go to Joann's, um, but they were almost getting ready to close, so. Oh, thank God. I quickly found some fabric. I found some of this knit fabric that I want to try to make some um, of those headbands for my granddaughter, the ones that have the big bows on top. So I really want to try to make that with this stretchy knit fabric that I found. And I found this beautiful polka dot. I love polka dots. Isn't that pretty? I got three yards of this cotton, navy blue with the white polka dots, make a summer dress. And this is my favorite. Look at this beautiful watercolor with all my favorite blues, especially the aqua, I love that. So I'm gonna make a cute little summer dress out of this. I got three yards of that. And by the time I got my fabric, I only had like maybe 10 minutes to look at patterns. And they had the Simplicity was 99 cents. So I found this one pattern here. This is Simplicity 11329. Simplicity 11329, and it's a beautiful, fancy dress for a special occasion. And this is one of my goals. I wanna be able to make one of these one day with a beautiful overlay like that. I love that. So that's the only pattern I found because I ran out of time, but I'm hoping to go again tomorrow because I think the McCall's patterns are 199 and that sale ends tomorrow, Saturday. So hopefully I get there and get some of those patterns. This past week, I did a tutorial on making a sock bunny. I made this little pink one with a little cotton tail. And I made a little baby one. Aren't they cute? So check out the link in my description box if you want to learn how to make that. And let's see, my husband works for the school system, so he started spring break today. So he's off today and for the next week. Yay! So, and um, looking forward to having him home for the week and getting to do some activities and, and go shopping. Yay! And um, his aunt is coming tonight and to stay for the weekend, so we're going to have fun with her and hang out. It's been a long time we hadn't seen her. So that'll be fun. And just looking forward to having the week off with my husband. Oh yeah, I just sewed a pair of jeans. I, well, not sewed them, I hemmed them. I hemmed a pair of jeans. Do y'all know about that technique where you can save the original hem? See, if I turned it up and then I just sewed right here next to the original hem, to the original hem. And then when you turn it back down, it's shorter, but you still have the original hem to your jeans. I haven't cut this part off yet. Once you sew it, you can trim off this excess, or if you wanna leave it in case they grow and you need to lengthen it, you'll have the excess there too. So I just love that little technique. It's so cool how you can keep the original hem because it's so cool, the original hem and the jeans. It's nice to be able to save that when you can. Looks great. Now a little bit about life. Um, yesterday I went to lunch with some friends from church and um, we were eating the, at an Italian restaurant and we had the, you know, the, the olive oil with the seasonings in the middle of the table and one of my friends accidentally dropped some oil on her shirt and she was like, well, there goes that shirt, that'll never come out. I'm like, yes it will. All you have to do is put WD-40 on the stain and then put um, Dawn, pure Dawn dishwashing soap right on top of that WD-40 and then throw it in the wash. And she texted me later on that evening and she tried it and she said, oh my gosh, it worked. Thank you so much for the tip. And I thought everybody knew about that tip. So I wanted to let you guys know that if you ever get an oil stain on your clothing, just treat it with a little bit of WD-40 and then Dawn dishwashing soap on top of that, rub it in and then throw it in the wash and it comes out clean. I've done it with cotton, it's worked with me on cotton fabric and um, like a jersey knit fabric, it's worked. So just a little tip there for you in case you get oil on your clothing. 
So um, that's about it. I'm going to go enjoy this spring break with my husband, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And if you like my videos and you find value in it, please click the subscribe button and the like. Hit, hit the thumbs up. And check out this video right here. I think you'll like it. Thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a so blessed day. Bye for now. Ah!